Welcome to this Groupanizer training video. This is a public website training video. What I'm trying to do is create a series of videos that cover the things you need to know to start working on your site successfully. So, so far we have a video called uh, pasting in your content. That is super important. You need to watch that one. It's very short, very simple, but very important. If you don't follow those rules or that uh, those guidelines, you will have formatting errors that will bother you. So you need to watch that one and pay attention to it. Blocks is another one you're going to want to watch. Blocks uh, include the sidebar. They also include the footer. and They also include special things like on the front page, this featured events and recent news are blocks and you're going to want to understand um, how you can put blocks on different pages and whatnot so please go ahead and watch that video as well. Uh, there's also the brand new video using this same website that covers menus. It's a very uh, simple system and powerful so go ahead and watch that one as well and that will help you um, create the menus that you want to have. So again, this is the Atlas theme and it looks a little bit different because we've moved the logo out of the header for this site and created a layer in Photoshop on top of the images that has the logo or contains the logo. This is great in that it tightens up the space at the top, but it does mean that this region um, is going to have to have someone who uses Photoshop in, a, in order to be able to accomplish this in the future. Um, there is a post on our support portal that covers glossy images. The only reason I'm mentioning that is because in that there is a link to photo editors and photo editors are super important if you're going to be um, working on a website you need to have a photo editor and I've mentioned Photoshop that's what I use and that's what I'm trained on and so I use it quite comfortably but there is another option that offers the same uh, layer ability and that is GIMP and it is a free program um, and you are welcome to play around with that and figure out how to use it uh, if you don't want to put the money into having Photoshop which is understandable. So let's get moving on this one. This one is about um, content types and it's really important that you understand the content types. I think once you know how to paste in your information, understand the menus, understand the blocks, then the only th other thing you really need to know to be successful in creating your site is the, um, the content types and to understand them. So let's have a peek at what they are and they are up in content, add content. If you have site manager privileges in meaning, if you also do uh, some editing on the members only side, then you will see a ton of options like I see. If you only have privileges to edit the front public facing side, then you will see less options. So I'll walk through the ones that are specific to your public website only. Audio. Audio is where you would add your audio clips and they would show up in a player. That player doesn't show on the pages unless you add it and it is a block and I believe the block is named latest audio. So if you add an mp3 to this audio content type, all it does is create um, a, an entry in that player and you will need to make sure that that player is somewhere on your site. It is um, styled or it is formatted to fit in the sidebar. So you're going to want to keep that in mind. You're going to want to add the latest audio block to the sidebar and then this is how you add clips to that player. Basic page. Basic page is simply a page that allows you to put in a title and a body. Now there's uh, a video already talking about this but it's really important to note that if you are going to be adding images, links, etc., you're going to need to change this to advanced. Also, in basic, it doesn't add the paragraph spacing, so you're going to want to change it to advanced. So, what you would do is just basically type in or paste in. If you're going to be doing your pasting as per the video, you're going to also want it to be in advanced. And there you get your paste options. So, if you're going to be entering text or pasting in text and then adding images, then you're going to want to make sure you're in advanced. So basic page allows for you to put in any images you want. You can size them using the image um, 
the image pop up, you can size the properties in here, you can add a wrap using the alignment, and it is fairly straightforward. It's pretty much like using Word uh, plus a few extra things. If you wanted to create a, um, a horizontal rule or a line between two sections of content perhaps, or if you wanted to have a quote in the middle and you wanted to have it stand out, you can insert a horizontal line here. Pretty straightforward, I'm going to move on from here. So basic page just allows for text and images and you have complete control over how those fit and look. Let's go back to content, add content, bio. The bio content type is created to allow you to highlight people. So we have created a couple of bio types or several bio types for you and we can change these. So for region 17, because this is a region site and not a choir or chorus site, these have been changed to um, reflect what they need, which is coaches, management team, and directors in their region. So this is um, what we can do for you. We can change those to whatever you need them to be. Uh, this gives you the opportunity to put in their name, some contact information, a date range. You don't have to use the date range at all. Uh, you can put in their position or award if that is needed. Uh, body, same as everywhere else, body, and you can change it to advanced if you want to add more images. And uh, just a note that you are going to put their bio image in here. It is a horizontal image. I know that creates a lot of problems for people because people tend to take photos uh, in portrait mode sometimes, but it will be a horizontal image. Depending on the theme, you'll notice different aspect ratios, but in general, they are horizontal images and you're gonna to want to remember that. After bios will be your blog entry, which is your news entry. And it is just like the other pages, you're gonna notice they all look the same. They just tie to different parts of the website. So that's what we mean by smart site. You create a blog entry, it's gonna show on the news page. So you put in your title, your image, again, there's a body and that's it. It's going to be the same for your buzz. Buzz, um, there is a video that talks about buzz. It's a great opportunity for you to allow smaller ensembles within your group the opportunity to have a mini feed or a mini news feed and they can talk about what they're doing and what their concert, upcoming concerts are, etc. Build their own following, but it also adds new content to your site, which if you know a little bit about SEO, you know that one of the things Google does is it looks for websites with fresh content. So the more you're adding content, the better your SEO rankings are. It's no longer about keywords and met metadata um, put into a little box. It's about the quality of your content. So it reads your content, looks for keywords within your content, and uh, ranks you according to freshness and quality. So that's good to know. Ensemble, again, is just like bio, except for it's meant for your ensemble, such as quartets. Um, in this case, because it's a region again, we can create the, um, the ensemble types that you need so that you can assign them the type. Now, I didn't mention this, but in the bio section, it's possible to select more than one bio type. So if the person is a director and on your music team and etc etc you can choose all of those options which is nice because then they automatically show up on those pages um, there's your image your photo copyright and other information that you can add next is the event um, and these are added also on the members only site and carry through this is one of those areas that has been joined so the event simply we're going to put in the event title the date um, and you can put in an image, which I'm going to suggest highly that you put in an image, and especially if it's going to be a featured event. Featured event means it shows up in the front page. It's an event that you're publicizing on your public website. So that's something to note and to remember, and that's how you make those show up on the front page, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, next, featured page. If you have a website that has a slider, that is driven by featured pages, which many of them are, then you are going to create those pages using featured page type that allows you to put in your slider image or the image that will be in your slider and it also allows for that image to be linked to the page that um, it relates to. So in this case we clicked, I clicked on that um, slider image and it took me to the champion page 
so that's how those work. Some themes work a little bit differently and uh, you'll need to know how those work but for the most part that's how that content type works. The next one after that would be uh, a gallery. Now these galleries as we've mentioned before aren't um, aren't albums, they're not multi-image galleries. Basically what we're doing is we're giving you an opportunity to uh, create some marketing buzz. So you can put in your title, a little bit of a description, and your main image. You can add more images in the body, of course, like we've shown you in other places. Again, you're going to want to choose advanced for your um, content type. Uh, but the image that's going to show in the gallery will be this featured image that you're putting in here in this image box. So after the uh, gallery links, I'm going to suggest that um, that links is probably going to disappear so I'm not going to actually talk about it but um, what it does is it just simply puts links in the links box in your footer if you have that. I suggest that you create a custom footer block for the links and you'll be much happier with that so I'm just going to breeze over that I know that'll bother some of you. Product display. If you have a store and you're adding store items you are going to be using the product display. Now I'm sorry that this is confusing and it has been a confusion to me and other people because if you go through store you can add products through the store as well. The problem is that they don't end up showing the way you want them to show because it's not using the content type. So we're um, so I just want to stress that if you're using the store and you want to add store items you're going to use this product display content type. It looks just like the others, you're putting in your image, but this one's going to uh, offer you the opportunity to put in a price, etc. If you have the stock module enabled, then it's going to allow you to put in your stock. Um, that is it, except for the web form. All of the other items that you see here are for the members only side, and uh, you can learn more about them on the members only videos. Web form is the last one. I'm not going to show you how to make a web form. Um, I believe there may already be a video that is created for that, and if it's not public, then I've made it and I haven't published it. But creating a web form starts by putting in a uh, title and your description or your precursor information. And once you push save, it's going to take you into the actual building of the web form. So I'm going to close out of that. You've now seen all of the content types and the last things I want to mention is how they work. So we looked at the slider featured content, uh, featured page content type in the case of Atlas, drives the slider and links to the slider. Featured events, we talked about that little checkbox on the events content type that you can click that says featured events that allows it to show up in this block and other blocks on your website. So just so you know the three closest upcoming events will show in the featured events block. Once the event has passed it will roll off of here. That is a great opportunity for you to then create a buzz or a news article about it. So you create a news article, you talk about the buzz of the event, it was great, there was a million people there, etc. And then um, you can add that to your recent news. Your recent news shows the three most recent posts. That's how this block here works. It's automatic. As soon as you add a news item, it's going to show up in here. Other than that, the other content types that link to things that we talked about were bios and ensembles. We talked uh, quite a bit about the audio type, so I won't look into that at the moment. But if I go to quartets, it's bringing up a quartets page. This group would have been added as a quartet. This is actually sample content that you're looking at here. And so any um, quartet that you add would show up on this overview page. It would show a list of them and then you can click in to see their full view and this is where all of the information for them shows. We talked about buzz. This is an opportunity to show the buzz for this group. So it says buzz for antique gold and uh, this is the antique gold ensemble. Um, same is true for bios. If I go to about and I go to regional management team you'll see that we've got, you're seeing sample content again, but these are the people that have been uh, at, attributed with the uh, management team role. And so they're showing up in this list. Again, if I click in, it takes me to their full view, but the list overview is what you get to first. Um, audio we talked about, buzz we've talked about, bios we've talked about, ensembles we've talked about, basic page, 
is simply a basic page. We talked about that. You have complete control over how that looks. Web forms, uh, depending on how you build them, will look um, anything from uh, quite elaborate to quite simple like this one. So that's it for content types. So again, you're going to want to make sure that you watch the video on pasting in content. You're going to want, want to watch the video on menus. You're going to want to watch the video on blocks. And you've just watched this one. And I think that's the handful of videos that you will need in order to be successful in building your site once we release it to you. I hope this was helpful.